Thank you to Jed North Yoga for sponsoring this video. Good morning, everyone. I'm Jackie. Welcome back to your 30 days of morning yoga. It's day 23 and it's all about your legs and your glutes today. We're going to get right into it. So come to all fours on your mat. Knees underneath the hips and wrists underneath the shoulders. Take your left leg up to the sky with the knee bent and the foot flexed. Make sure that the knee is not pointing out to the side, but it's pointing directly downwards to the mat. From here, press the floor away, engage through the front side of your body and kick the heel up to the sky. Little pulses up. Really isolating this movement in the back of the leg and the left glute muscle. Try not to let anything else move here. So every time you press up, try not to let your belly drop back and forth either. Your torso, your core is super straight and super still. All right, on the next one, extend the leg out long behind you and then bring the knee to the side. You can look over at the knee, breathe in, extend it back. Breathe out, knee to the side. Breathe in, extend it long. Knee to the side and back and side and back. One last time to the side and back and then lower down. Other side, right leg up to the sky, bend the knee, make sure it's in line. Press the heel up to the sky. Try to isolate this movement into the back of the leg. Try to keep the rest of your body still. Push the floor away with your hands. Maybe sometimes it's a bit hard to get this action, but keep going, keep practicing. And then extend the leg out behind. Bring the knee into the side of the body. Look back, breathe in, extend. Breathe out, knee to the side, breathe in, extend. To the side and extend. To the side, extend. One last time, to the side and extend. And then lower down. Tuck the toes under, lift the hips up, downward facing dog. Walk out your feet here, stretch out the backs of your legs. All the way into your glute muscle. On the next breath, float the right leg up to the sky, three legged dog. And then bring the knee into your chest and place the foot in between your hands. Come onto your fingertips, nice and strong with your core, pressing down through the feet and then lift the body up. Bring the hands into Namaste, into your heart center. Breathe in, open through the chest and lift upwards as you ground down from the hips. Twist towards your front leg, your right leg, and place the elbow on top of the knee, pressing down with the hands to find this twist through your spine. You can look down towards your right foot or up to the sky if you feel balanced. On the next breath, nice and gracefully coming back to the center. Bend through the back leg, slight tuck of the pelvis under, and then pulse it down. Nice and strong here. Again, just the movement in the legs, nothing in the upper body moves. Last one, big push of the back leg to stand all the way forward, chair pose. Feet together, hands forward. Knees pressing together, weight onto the heels of your feet. So try here not to arch through the spine, but tuck under just slightly. Your lower abs are going to engage a lot more there. Then bring the hands down, step back into a plank, holding here, press the floor away. Press in the heels of your feet and through the crown of your head and then lift the hips up, downward facing dog. On the next breath, left leg reaches up to the sky. Bring the knee into the chest, place the foot in between the hands. Come up onto your fingertips, nice and strong through the body and the legs, and then coming up, hands to heart center. Make sure you're squaring off your hips, tucking under slightly, and then twist towards the front leg, placing the elbow on top of the knee, press the palms together, looking down, towards your left foot or up towards the sky. Pressing the palms together to help you find the twist and breathing in and coming back to the center and pulsing it down. Nice deep lunges with control. 
And the last one, big push of the back leg to come forward, feet together, arms forward, sitting down into your chair pose. Weight onto the heels of your feet, little tuck under of the pelvis. And then bring the hands down, step back into a plank. Nice and strong here, pressing the back side of the body up to the sky. And then lifting the hips up, downward facing dog. On the next breath, bring the right knee into the chest, place the foot in between the hands, coming back onto your fingertips, nice and strong with the core, little push with the back leg, and coming into a warrior three balance. Hands can come to your heart center, press the palms together, and then slowly raising all the way up to standing. Back into your warrior three, just from this position, and back to standing, again. Try to move everything in one straight line from the heel of your left foot all the way to the crown of your head. So we're not moving the leg and then the body, leg, body. So everything is moving nice and smoothly and in harmony. All right, coming back up to standing. Other side, right leg goes back. Engage the core, roll the shoulders back. And coming up, really using the muscles in the back of the left leg here to pull yourself back up. Try to keep your gaze at one still point in front of you to help you with that balance as well. Last one here. And then coming up, stepping to the side. Bring the toes pointing in front, hands stay at your heart center, knees wide, and then bending to one side, up, and then to the other side, and up. Every time you come up, you breathe out and press the hips forward, squeeze the bum. <sighs> nice and strong. See how deep you can go this morning with your lunges. One more each side. And then coming to stand back at the top of your mat and sitting all the way down and lying down onto your back. Bring the feet hip width distance apart, toes pointing to the top of your mat, arms to either side with the palms facing down. On your next breath in, flatten out the lower back and then lift the hips up to the sky. Press your hands down to help you find that lift. Try not to let the knees fall out to the sides, but keep them in line with your hips and your toes. Staying up high here and walking the feet out a little bit further and then back in and out and in, out and in. Try to keep your hips lifted here, using the muscles in your core and in your legs and your bum to keep yourself lifted. One more round. Keep breathing as well. Lift the hips up and then lower it down. Bring the knees into your chest. Nice, gentle rock. And then rolling all the way up, crossing the legs, coming onto all fours. And then taking the left leg forward to the inside of the hands and coming into a lunge. Hands come on top of the knee nice and straight through the spine, and then you can sink down. Nice little stretch here. Big breaths, square off your hips. Make sure your hip bones are pointing to the top of your mat and they're level so they're not one on top of the other. On the next breath, straighten the front leg, flex the toes, hands can come to your hips. Nice straight spine, half splits. Either stay here with your hands or they can come to your thigh, your shin or to the mat. Try to keep your spine as straight as possible and the shoulders rolling back. And on the next breath, coming forward, bring the hands down, come back to all fours. Other side, bring the right leg forward, hands on top of the knee and then sinking down. Slight tuck of the pelvis under and finding the stretch here through this left hip flexor. 
And then on the next breath, pressing it back, straighten the leg, flex the toes, hands to the hips, and then fold forward into your half splits. Shoulders back, elbows back. Hands maybe come to your shin, thighs, or mat. And on the next breath, bending the leg, bringing the hands down and coming back onto all fours, bringing the knees wide and sit back onto your hips and lower down into child's pose. Taking a few deep breaths here to end your practice this morning. Softening through your belly, allowing all the tension to release and flow out of your body. And slowly coming back up to a seat, closing the eyes, bringing your hands to your heart center, sitting up nice and tall, and just taking a moment to thank yourself for showing up on your mat this morning. Slowly blink open the eyes. Thank you so much for joining me for today's lower body exercise flow. I'll see you again tomorrow. Namaste.